So if that's one of the requirements by the, the licensing board or by PIC, we're more than happy to comply with it. One of the issues we heard was trash um, at, at the location and keeping it clean because that plant they had some some problems with, with some rodents. So we want to do our best with <coughs> I see one uh, one of those here that's that's been here and concerned with moving the trash to a, to a different location that doesn't sit right in front of 236 Commercial Street and certainly Billy is more than happy to work with one of the neighbors in doing that. I think Billy has been a good neighbor for since he's been there. I haven't heard any uh, opposition since uh, some of the neighbors that I've spoken to. So um, I'm here to answer any questions. I uh, hope I don't miss anything, but I'm here. So. If we are running late, so I'll call in once, but that will be it for this issue. Uh, okay. Anyone else? Uh, Nobody wants to speak? Okay. Questions from anyone? I wasn't sure about what you said regarding the hours. Uh, right now, you are proposing to go along with the existing hours in the alcohol license, which has a closing hour of 12 midnight. That means that you can serve alcohol on the patios until 12 midnight and you would not have to clear the people from the patio areas until 12 30 a.m. <coughs> and I just think that's way too late. And I don't think people are going to be eating, they're going to be mostly drinking, if they're there at all. And so what's your you said something about 11 Well, well I, I don't think we're going to be allowed to stay out here beyond 11 o'clock because I know the city orders you and it's part of it condition to, to shut your doors at 11 o'clock because of the noise issue. So, I mean, where our, our application before the Boston License Board is, is not going to affect our closing hours. Our closing hours on our license have been midnight, and we're going to maintain our, our, those hours. We like to maintain those hours. Um, for the outdoor seating, certainly if, if we have to close at 11, close the doors and bring them instead, shut that down because it's a requirement, we, we do it. But we were able to get battery work to change its proposed hours from something like 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. No, I think it was 11. Down back to, to 10. 10. Originally, it was later. I think it was 1 a.m. So, uh, you know, so I don't know how others feel about this, but I'm not sure how to how to vote on this. Are we going to vote no? Would, would I have the opportunity to vote no because I don't have to your hours, or would I, I would actually prefer to have the opportunity to vote yes if the hours we're going to have to be in seven days, and then you're going to agree to those hours. Or, or would you be willing to, to do the same as battery work and, and do it at 10? It's something I haven't had an opportunity to speak with, with the owner about bringing the hours down, because hours, we weren't adjusting the hours on a alcohol license, so it's not something that I discussed with them in depth. I mean, for the license work hearing, which is on Wednesday the 20th, that's not going to be an issue, but Maybe at, at PIC, which would be coming up in April, maybe that's something we can maybe work with the neighborhood to get the opportunity to speak with. Uh, Why would it be an issue for the license board? They can put right in the license in the patio, so they can still 11 p.m. Yeah, yeah, I assume so PIC would I I so PIC with them, but maybe. <coughs> We don't get a chance before the PIC, generally speaking. We only have this opportunity before the licensing board. And uh, so I think we, uh, our stronger position here, for those who agree with my position, the stronger position is to vote no. And in our letter say we voted no specifically because we believe that the service should be no later than 11 p.m. That's a clear message to the licensing board that that's the issue. And it sends a signal that if the licensing board is willing to constrain it to 11 p.m., then limit it to 11 p.m., then uh, To do it another way, you can vote yes, because I haven't seen here any opposition, and I don't think I've heard any opposition from, from neighbors. Um, vote yes with the condition. I'm not saying we're going to agree to it right now, but the, the new committee can support it with the letter saying that we support it, but we'd like to see the closing hour at just for the patio at 11 o'clock because we don't want to, we want to maintain our midnight closing hour on the license as it is. I think you do. Let me, let, 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 let me get into this. Uh, anticipating this question, I called the licensing board today and anticipating another question, which I haven't read yet, about that one too. Uh, and I was told that, yes, 
uh, many uh, uh, out, outdoor uh, uh, alcohol service establishments have an 11 o'clock uh, closing date, but the, each application is taken on a case-by-case -case basis. That is, there is no rule. I also asked them about uh, alcohol only with food. Is that uh, something that the licensing would apply? The same answer. Many outdoor uh, uh, patios and serving establishments uh, are restricted to alcohol service only with food. However, it's a case-by-case -case basis, and there is no rule. So the only way to uh, implement this, that Dave is, as Dave was suggesting, is a vote subject to those two conditions. And a motion, of course, too, to take such a motion. It's, the other thing is just to start about this particular applicant. This applicant has been a good neighbor for since 1995. No violations at this particular location. Um, been a great neighbor. This is always something that if there is, a, if hopefully this year we're open with the outdoor patio and get it going, <coughs> it becomes a noise issue after the 11 o'clock hour, especially for the direct departures. We can always come back before the neighborhood and address the issue. What, what the the hours? Hours? Huh. Uh, what's the season hours for the it, it's from one month to one month. Oh, it's, um, it's, 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 it's April 30th, so May 1, usually to the end of October. Go ahead. That's the, um, the traditional Dave, license that it gives you. Dave brought up the, the, uh, the situation at the Battery uh, more for the, the restaurant over there. I, just, I want to just say that I think this is a very different situation. It was in Battery Wharf. They had a, a restaurant with closed windows and then an entirely separate, you know, its own space that, that we uh, at, at Nura, very successfully, was able to push back on. I think the whole neighborhood was grateful for that. Here, you have essentially a, a dining room that is open. The windows are going to be fully open. The tables right on the edge of the sidewalk that already are serving liquor, and you're talking about a six-foot incursion into the sidewalk. It's it's like night and day. This is this is a small push out as opposed to what was going on at Battery Wharf, which was an entirely different situation. And I also want to say, in, in favor of Billy T's, unlike Pinkberries, you know, people who eat Billy T's Chinese food don't tend to fight afterwards. <laughs> 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 And just to, to build on that note, thing is you were saying that you would probably have to close close that typically with the city. If once you close that at Billings, there's no no door, so that opens and that closes. So once you close that, you have to hop the fence to get out. So it would be likely that they would probably um, have to come in anyway. And, and to correct you, it, that's not true. Um, you you don't have because there's going to be there's a door here. You come out and then this will be a little door. Yeah, right, you have to. Yeah. And so it's not once these doors close, you're, you're cut off, you have to the room. The, the, the entrance here, exit, and you're going to be able to access here. So, um, yeah, yeah. So if you're not, but, but if the city, during our licensure hearing, and if that's a requirement for the outdoor, but we'd love to keep the closing hour, the license hour, the, the same. Yeah, and if it's an issue with noise, we're, we're more than happy to address and that. And if I could just add quickly to that, Bob, Billy's. I have been that license for many years. I, I, I go there, I eat there. They are, I can't remember ever seeing the place open till one night. Even on weekends, they're typically closed much earlier. The crowd there is very different than a lot of the other, or some of the other locations that tend to attract some of the college students there. Um, it's a family friendly place, and you don't have problems with a lot of neighborhood folks hang out there. and it's, Continually for 16 or 17 years, been a, a, a non problematic place. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, Stephanie, you know, Street. I, I'd like to say to all the, the voting members that if, if we vote to support this, we are signaling not only that we're supporting uh, outdoor public service, which is something that we haven't been consistently in favor of in the past. We're also signaling that we're willing to add 20 more alcohol serving seats to the neighborhood. We know we have around 9,000 now, which is getting close to all of us residents being able to sit down and be served simultaneously. Um, 
and, and, and we're signaling that we're okay with uh, expansion of a restaurant service that is going to be open until midnight. So we're okay with 20 more alcohol serving seats up until the hour of midnight outside. Thank you. Do um, you have any questions? No, it's fine. I just so the hours outside uh, right now on the application. No, the hours, our, our particular license, as it stands right now, is midnight. Yeah, this is an existing not, license right, inside. Existing license. Right. Our application before the license is board is strictly to increase the seating capacity for 20 seats to include the outdoor seating, not, not addressing the, the hours of operation. It was my understanding that I thought the license board did does put a restriction on closing windows at a certain hour, but we can answer that question, no. But we would, we would. No, but no, I didn't answer um, the question of windows. Oh, the service, the only the service. <coughs> so we would, we would prefer to continue with our midnight closing hour. We're not, we, we're trying not to address from that. Not right now, we, we want the midnight closing hour. So so that's what we're It's an extension of the succeeding capacity. Exactly. That's, that's, all, it, that's all it is. It's an extension of the seating capacity. We're side. not addressing the that's closing that's hour. We have, a, yeah. we have a midnight closing hour. But I, I would echo what Mark said. This is the type of establishment that's been there 16, 17 years. It's a not then being yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, local I'm establishment. Of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I understand what Stephanie is saying. We, in the past, I'm going to be sick. There's a lot of I've been here that comes to almost to every monthly meeting. We, sometimes we set precedent, sometimes we don't. I've seen in the same meeting that we vote for something, and then the next vote we're voting against something um, or something, I should say. Um, but you know, there's a difference between. And I just want to. What Mark said is the type of clientele that Billy has. Well, I go there, and you know, and also but Billy's prices aren't are somewhat higher than most other places. Well, so the clientele at his bar doesn't necessarily not the college kids and. Uh, okay, well, yeah. Thank you. We've got a vote now. Um, no, okay, we, you've already talked, David. That's it. Okay, a motion to vote. Thank you. Uh, Second. Okay. 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 That's the vote. Fourth by Mexico. Move ballot. We have 18 support and 19 opposed. Okay. So we are